everybody so Rebecca's just asked me to do a hello world review so from my point of view this is my point of view and Rebecca's bit this is not anybody else sticking me, uh, me on behind my back and saying say this that and other I don't want to be sued or anything it is my point of view all night so uh, yesterday's event where we went to was again train's not a problem you know you've got to get your train you, if you live far away you live far away i live two hours away from birmingham that's not, not his fault is it really any sea place that's nice and posh quite nice and clean the drinking area again clean clean as a whistle toilets were nice everything was nice there um, but the little problem was, or should I say the big problem was, was the actual Hello World itself. That's where everything went wrong, really. It claimed, this is a claim, that even though this was not a meet and a greet, which again they claimed, they claimed, that a meet and greet is a person sitting at the end of the table, tapping, uh, writing their names in books, smiling, get with the next person and having a queue. We don't want that, which I agree, we don't really, we don't want that because it's a pain in the neck. I've been there done them all. They claimed, or they suggested in the write up, that I was going to be wandering around. Uh, meeting us, vlogging the souls. So if we're in their vlog and they're we're in their vlog and they're in our vlog, that's all right because we all vlog. So feel free to vlog. They even encouraged us to vlog. So that was all right. But they were not to vlog because I'm doing here. Basically, do I feel absolutely down that rubbish? We had the little um, timetable I suggest. Oh, it's about. I said about half an hour intervals, so they were good. You know, you went to a area, so say the school area, you saw where you wanted to see, you don't have to. If you don't like them, then you don't like them. And then you'd wait for the next half hour, and so on and so on. Bearing in mind that there was, um, must have been a two or three thousand people there, at least two, I'd say. We were wandering around looking at lost lambs, invisible. There was nothing in between the, uh, the, the people, so there were no extra um, activities. It suggested we could play on the uh, a car arcade game. There was an arcade where we could go and play games. No, there weren't. That were a lie. That were like that. Now, admittedly, there was an arcade up on the stage and the Lucky Field got a, a little minute on it. But that was about it on that. It cost fifty what fifty pound for fifty four for standing ticket. Therefore the standing ticket was just walking around a big big arena place. That way. Got nothing for that apart from walking around. The odd ones that I would suggest uh, Less known celeb, uh, less known YouTubers, um, which ones? Maybe not that Alfie and Zoella and Marcus. A little bit, a bit less known. It seemed to be get more attention because the Alfie and Zoella, well, we were there for um, got there about quarter past one because we we're a bit late because of trains and everything. Which again, it's not a little world's fault. Do you know such a person as Zoella? I don't think she existed. There was a Zoella Garden or a place where we have got a special place for people who have anxiety, like myself. And that we can all sit there nice and quietly and calm and go, mmm, I think pretty thought. No, there was not. That was a total to lie. Where this was, it, we don't know. In Zoella's uh, little green room, because it weren't in our uh, room either. It was a little bit area where there were some trees, a suggestive Christmas trees. 
but that was only open for so long and the security guard said oh no that's it there tough you can't come in no more so this anxiety area was non-existent bearing in mind my darling daughter has anxiety it would be, and she was going to be ratty with the world because there's a lot of people there as the old people what's got anxiety will know this you know you need to take a moment to yourself there was no moment for yourself so that was the biggest lie Miss Alfie Dave who said it was going to be there and I'm not sure where there all time was hiding somewhere he popped his head out and made what a five minute fuss and then shut off again it finished at four this event finishes at four this event finishes at four it's important that word four no the angry round meeting meeting i will say meeting in commas people finish at four then after there's another event where of the youtubers come onto the stage and do sketches and things and things which is no good for people who can't flipping get a train back home duh it's sunday have you checked your traveling arrangements for everybody no you have not because i mean everybody in the universe knows sunday is the worst day to travel and bank holiday is christmas day therefore we left at five when it had just when they had decided to do this concert affair should have done that earlier should have perhaps concentrated on the concert and not wandering around that lost lambs maybe that would have been helpful so back again we had to leave which quite a lot were leaving at uh, four o'clock because it finishes at four so everybody had got in there the little clock four ping 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 go it finished go off we go home we go so quite a lot went out and there was what wanking on thinking there's all the soap that if we hadn't gone long enough we might actually pop out and go oh I'll pop out and sneak out and we can attack them again but no that didn't work either I have to make a big announcement in case you're watching this but I have to say a fantastic hello to us to um to saffron barker's parents mummy and daddy who were fabo they chatted to us not every normal person you know every normal mum and daddy on this world and they, i think they were quite agreeing actually they did they, well, they seemed to think that it wasn't the other feeling in the air that things weren't going to plan now i know what's with their twitter and they've got twitter accounts out there in twitter land i haven't got one but i think i have but i can't work it as constantly complained and complained and complained and complained and i totally agree for powerful social really for, well no sorry for powerful cold drink what i that is isn't it the word slush not a real one not a slush puppy merchandise <sighs> Now, I can't argue with that one. I'm not going to argue with merchandise on the grounds of the first time in my life we've actually found a size that fits Rebecca. And Rebecca's of a higher size than perhaps the other people. And it's a rarity she gets her size. So, get okay, not going to argue with that one. Other merchandise, pricey. Very pricey. Young children running around. No, not children. Good children, not a problem with the children. All want, 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 want. Obviously, we all want to mm, suck that t shirt and a Ollie White t shirt and somebody else. One of the t shirts ran out. Well, hello, world. The one that said hello, world had already gone by five. You really need to stock up. If you've got 2,000 people, I'd get 2,000 tops. But I'd get probably a bit more just in case somebody wants to top for the mate down at straight. Oh, this is still but for what did turn up that day. And a present for somebody. It was not like, I don't know if somebody had had an attacking merchandise department because the staff had just for all oh, whatever at night, five o'clock, and left it all that jumpers and everything and woo everywhere. So it was just that, help, you know, help yourself, basically, help at best. <laughs> the staff of the Genting area was perfect. 
we will scan D and to check the out bags and check the security check. Perfect. We do know about the recent bombings and sadly. So that was a fantastic idea. I sort of guess I'm going to expect the the food was going to be fair expensive for my taste. Ten pound just for a burger and chips and drink, which is, I suppose is around the average. Expecting to to know in a tap place, so again, I would expect to that. Ten pound like this, I really I'm not never going to get over this in my life. For Poundland stickers, all it had on was one thing that said "Sub Life" or "Sub Maybe." Oh, that's that, that Halloween hats and spiders and pumpkins and you know Halloween type things. Oh, wait. Seven pound. I mean, really, seven pound. Seven pound. Necklace. What Rebecca got? Hmm. Ten pound. No. It was a chain that did not have a clasp. Therefore, if it doesn't go over your head because you've got the liquid instead of Britain, so we're not going to get over your head. Therefore, now Rebecca needs another chain or a, ch a pen chain where she had a pendant on. So she can put that pendant on now. So maybe another purchase we don't know. Or I'll have that or I'll be going for an outland in my liquor world of mine and looking for a necklace. So again, not good. Not good. So my opinion is rubbish. Bad, appalling. Organisation non existent. Whoever, I'm not saying it was Alfie or Zoella or Marcus or any other of those names I can think of idea to do this. Obviously it's their management. You can't just go up one day and go, I've got an idea. Oh, Rebecca says the, the app. I, I guess management on somebody's going to have to have put the hand in and say, you know, help them out and say, oh, that's not a bad idea, that's a good idea, that's a poor idea. I can't really see Alfie and Zoella sat there one day going, do you know what? We're going to charge everybody £50 in Britain to come and see an all a room with nothing in it. With us every now and again popping our head through and going, hi, and then walking away. If they do, I have feel a strong concern for feeling so well at this moment. And the others, what may be the higher end, Marcus maybe, Butler. Gleam. So that's a gleam. Who are them? Manager. The manager, look at off. Oh, the managing company is called Gleam. So, clearly, I would hope, really hope, that the YouTubers was not involved in this serious disaster. Because if they were, you really need to sort yourself out. You need to think about your fans because there's just so too many out there now what are in tears what are sad what are fed up i'd had to go through this a thousand times to rebecca on sunday to make sure she weren't disappointed she was because we'd already read the read up on saturday's disaster praying that you know you learn your lesson it's a disaster you read your tweets you read your comments you have a rethink and go right look it was a bit of a mess yesterday they weren't happy Perhaps we really should rejig the schedule or we should change a few bits about Dig Napple. So when Hello World comes back again, I'm going to say goodbye world. End of rant. Bye. When I said that. Okay, so my take on yesterday's event. So as you guys know, I went to Hello World yesterday in Birmingham. Um, I'm going to say it wasn't the best event I've ever been to, it wasn't the most fun I've ever had in my life. Um, the train journeys were perfect, I mean obviously they were boring but I mean you can't really do anything on train journeys. Um, the, the thing we went to was Hello World, it was at the Gentian Arena. The staff for the Gentian Arena were amazing. Um, obviously they did like the bag searches and stuff, which was obviously needed, um, which we don't, you know, nobody mind, well, probably people do mind, but our family don't mind because like we want to feel safe and stuff, so obviously we didn't mind that, 
The Hello World staff were absolutely so rude. It was unbelievable. I, um, one of the occasions, um, uh, I've just met Anastasia, Flower Princess on YouTube. She's an amazing young lass. She's just turned seventeen. Um, not so too long ago, and she's friends with Saffron Barker, and they're both an amazing people. I really I look up to them because like they're around my age, so like. We can relate. Um, and I just finished meeting her, and I was like, "Oh my god, the stage is up there!" And they're going to be doing like a, a stage show in a minute. Let's go up. So we went up, and the hello, this hello world member of staff had a torch and said, "She even said hello, how are you? Hello, sweetheart, anything like that." She said, "Where's your tickets?" I was like, "All right, calm the horses down." Asked my mum, she's got tickets at. You've got standing, you're not allowed to sit here. I was like, okay, you don't need to be that rude. I went back down, um, past everybody else, went into the crowd, and with people with anxiety, it's not like one of the best events you need to go to. Um, I had a fun day, the anxiety part of it wasn't, you know, the greatest, but I knew um, it was going to be bad. So we went into the crowd and there was a stage and we had to go like not even halfway through the show, like literally so like two segments, not even that, probably like a segment and a little bit of the introduction of the next segment. And we had to go because people who live far away than Birmingham, like Barnsley or Sheffield or wherever, wherever you come from, um you obviously need to get back home and on Sundays journeys and transport doesn't is non-existent like the latest train we could get to Hello World got us at Birmingham New Street that's just New Street 5 past 12 the doors opened at 12 o'clock and the earliest train was 10 12 in the morning and I was like, okay, five minutes isn't, you know, going to be too bad. I didn't realise we had to have another train to get us to the Birmingham International. And then for us to walk 20 minutes, 25 minutes, to the arena. It's, and it wasn't too bad. Got searched, went in. The food prices weren't bad because I think, like, they are around the same prices of, like, Sheffield Arena or any of the arenas you want to go to and hotels and other. Um the merchandise sold out way too quickly. Like I first went up and I was like I only had my debit card with me and I didn't have like physical money and I was like oh damn I need to change like into money. And no, I was like I really hope card. what? I really hoped that there was a cash machine in the place, luckily there was, because I saw this woman when we was coming up to get in, she was like, oh I need to go out to get some cash, and they're like, no you're not, you're not allowed to leave the building, I was like, oh, so I was hoping, thankfully there was one, so I got my money sorted, got my merch, I got, what did I get, um, Sub Life Times, um, PB khaki green hoodie. I think mean, that's the only thing I got. First of all, yeah, pretty sure. Not hundred percent sure. And I think I got something else, and I forgot what I got. But anyway, I got I got two things to start off with, and the prices weren't you know horrendously bad. Um, because I expect it from Sheffield Arena when I go and buy stuff. So I wasn't, you know, like, surprised by the price, like I got on it. So we got in and it was like, Main Street as they called it, with everything they advertised was amazing. On the other hand, before the event, like before Saturday and Sunday, a week before the event, YouTubers were talking about Hello World in their vlogs, obviously to get, make people to get tickets and stuff. And they were saying, oh yeah, we'll come down to Main Street and we'll come and meet you. It's not going to be a meet and greet where you will queue up for 10 hours, sign a book, have a picture, bog off, next person. 
it's not, it, admittedly, it was not like that. But, they hyped it up, the YouTubers saying, We'll come down, we'll meet you, we'll take lots of pictures, we'll be walking around the floor, you can come and say hi, I'll vlog you if you're vlogging me, kind of thing. Like, absolute liars. Like, I can't believe they said that, just to make money. I'm just fuming. Like, if I ever did an event, and whatever I was telling you, I would make sure that would happen. Like, if I said, oh, I'm going to come down and meet you, I would come down and meet i wouldn't care what security said I'm like you know what i want to meet my fans they're my fans they love me i love them boom but no none of them cared about their fans which i found was disgusting and disgraceful disrespectful all them words what were that stay negative none of it happened they said oh yeah you can play games with us no you can bake with us no all i did was stand on the stages of the department and do like interactive malarkeys and only the VIP people could go on the stage not us standing or seating people it was a joke people with disability problems with no access whatsoever um, I saw loads of people on crutches and they got pushed so badly so I'm so glad I didn't do my crutches really because I think I'll be flat down on floor I'm not laughing by the way but I'll be on floor because I saw so many people couldn't walk with crutches, walking sticks, wheelchairs and they got pushed and shoved so much. Like as soon as the YouTube would be on the floor, boom, everybody would be in the face like <laughs> Like there was no politeness needed, like you basically just went and you wouldn't care if people keep for ten minutes or ten seconds you just went and had pictures because they're your idol. And none of the higher end you more than like a fa more than 100,000 subscribers I'm gonna say came onto the floor like the lower like end so like from my subscribers to a million I'm gonna say they came down and they had pictures they talked to us like they talked did it just a hi picture bye they uh, said how are you how's the event hope you stay for the concert and all that stuff and um, they were so amazing. I met um, Rose and Rosa. They were so lovely to speak to. Um, I met Seth and Barker's mum and dad. To the fact, I didn't even meet Seth and Barker. I mean, I met her in Leeds, but I'm just saying I didn't meet her. I met her just her mum and dad, and they recognised me, and it was so lovely to meet them again because they are so nice. In the, uh, the first time I met Darren, but I met Wendy again, and she's so lovely. The both are amazing to speak to um so met them again had a conversation we talked about the disaster and then i met anastasia for our princess she was so nice i literally spent like literally five seconds here and then i said to go and then i met louise pentland she was so lovely I, and she was eight months pregnant and she still managed to go to the event congratulations on her well done and then the event finished at 4 o'clock, it was meant to finish at 6pm um, and it finished, the, like, the event finished at 4 but there was like a concert, a concert afterwards or like a stage show where all the YouTubers came onto the stage, did the bit and then said bye, hope you enjoy it, thanks, selfies, treat, all that stuff and to be honest I was disappointed like it was so I, I mean in a way I was disappointed because I knew I was going to meet anybody like Zoe and Alfie and Mark and all that jazz um, because of the I mean, looked on Twitter and even this chat was a joke and a disaster so there's a lot of people complaining which I totally agree about the complaining bit because it was past a joke disrespectful for all the youtubers in their vlogs to hype this thing up for it not to even look like that or even do anything like they said really there's going to be loads of interactions and you're not going to be bored we was bored senseless 
Like, I wanted to get out of the arena within an hour because I was that bored. But I had a attention seeking the other match like that. I, I don't have a lot of patience. <laughs> um, but other than that, it was okay. I had a fun game with my mum, so that was like the main thing. But it was just like a shame. Like, I really hope next year they keep. They just book up the ideas and read all the complaints that parents, that us were given, all the people were given. Um, but yes, all these are just mine and my mum's opinions, so none of it, I didn't uh, want to come across like negative in a way. It's just our opinions and what we thought of Hello World. Like, if you thought it was great, then that is your opinion. That's fine. We didn't want to spoil your days or anything like that. But, no. no. What can you do? I, I suppose because it was the first time like, event and it was the first thing that ever happened like that. And then it, I suppose there were going to be like a few like mistakes, but not like that much. Like, come on, book your ideas in. And especially the YouTubers. It's so disappointing man. Like and the merch ran out and if they did restock it was all over the place. The pricings of the merch is way too expensive. Like stickers cost seven pounds, phone cases cost like ten pounds, t shirts cost I think like between about fifteen to twenty five pounds. I mean I'm not gonna like diss the stuff, but Alfie's necklace came separated, like even one like um bag and then the chain and the pendant was separated and the chain didn't have like you know like something to like attach it with along the neck so I now have to find another um chain to put it on because like, I couldn't for love and money do that and I forgot how much it cost I think like ten pound and ten pound you can't even wear it and non like the sug life um, some of the sug life stuff some of Alfie's stuff um, Evan's stuff Ollie Wright stuff the recall stuff didn't go past the extra large point or not even extra large like the large point like the one thing I got from sug life went up to XXL I was so thankful for that so I was like that's mine because None of the YouTubers, apart from Louise Pentland, care about people who are plus size, which baffles my brains. Like, they go up to large and they think, oh yeah, people are just large, not, you know, XXL or anything like that. It bugs me to death that people who are thin don't care about the people who are fat. I'm not calling you fat, by the way, but people who are more large. Like me. Um, I'm sorry about like this lighting as well. Um, and only the fat people they care about the small the children sizes to X X X X X X X X. But I'm just so disappointed in YouTubers to hype this event up to raise fifty six pounds of my own money, what I saved up, and it was a total disappointment. The first event that comes near me, all the other events kind of like this have been in London. And I bet they have been more better than the ones that come near me. It is a passage, so please book your ideas in YouTube. Book your ideas in Hello World, because honestly, that was an absolute disgrace, disrespectful. Couldn't believe what happened, and honestly, shocked.